Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at the Great Holiday Home Show yet again here in Harrogate and today I'm going to be reviewing these. It's the Bailey Adamo range. Now these were uh, launched a couple of years ago. They're on the Ford cab and chassis. It's a two litre engine, 160 brake horsepower and these all have the automatic gearbox. There's five layouts in all, they're four berth and the smallest one is six meters and the largest one is seven meters and 48 centimeters. So we'll go down the line, I do apologize for the noise, but we'll go down the line, have a look and see what we're getting. So let's start first of all with the Adamo 60-4. So this motorhome is the smallest one in the range. This one is six meters long. It's 73 and a half thousand pounds. These are all three and a half ton motorhomes. So you can drive them all on your B category license. The payload on this one is 551 kilos. So that is a really generous payload. So what we're getting here, we're getting our alloy wheels. We've got the white sides, the silver uh, Ford cab. And as I say, they are automatics. They've got the Adamo badge, the blue and dark gray decals. We've got um, our electric hookup point there. Let's go in and have a look at this layout. So we'll venture in. Oh, this is nice. So I've, to be honest, I think I've maybe jumped in one Adamo before. I've not had a close look. So you and me, first time together. Right, let's start with this cab area. So the Ford cab is quite simple, but it is nice. And because it's quite well set back, it is giving you this extra space uh, in the cab area. This one, there we can see the auto gearbox. We have got air conditioning up front there. Then we've got the Bailey captain's chairs that swivel round. And with this being the uh, four berth, but without a uh, fixed bed, we've got a really good size lounge area. So this will convert into a bed. So we can see the seats there, good size table. The table will drop down and that'll turn into part of the front double bed. This table, I don't know if I can lift it with one hand, but that will lift up. I don't think I can do it with one hand, but that will lift up. We've got the uh, big sunroof up here with the Adamo. It has got fly screens and blinds. The windows have got a nice fabric surround. And then we've got a drop down bed, which you can probably just see up here. There is a ladder that goes on there. So this bed will drop down and that will be two berths. So that is a big, that is actually a really big drop down bed. I'll just spin us round so we can see the motorhome from this end looking down. So here's this big lounge area, really good size amount of floor space as well. Feels very wide and spacious in here. We've got our kitchen here on the off side of the motorhome. There we can see the control for the Truma, air blown heating and hot water, couple of plug sockets. Not a bad size uh, kitchen really, good size flap here. And don't forget you can always utilize your table. Drawer space, let's have a look. So we've got top drawer here. And then we've got a little cupboard here. Don't know whether that just presses. I won't, I won't go pushing. We've got a Thetford, three gas burners and electric plate, and then the grill and oven there. And if we come over onto the near side of the motel, so on the near side, we've got the uh, operation for the, the bed there by Lippet. We've got our control panel. We've got a plug socket. There's the stand there for the television. Uh, bracket there so TV goes there and then we've got a big Thetford tower fridge freezer this will be the about 142 litre uh, compress um, absorption fridge freezer it runs off gas and electric that is my favorite tower fridge freezer right then we've got oh, a little cupboard here let's just see what's in here this could be our, our cup yep yeah. shelving space the aerial comes in up here the Vision Plus. Then we've got this door which is going to take us into the bathroom. So let's have a look. It looks like there's a little step up, so you must be careful of that. Let's open that and we're into the bathroom space. So there is that little step up, as I say. Then we've got a shower cubicle here with um, a sunroof in the top of it. Not a bad size at all. Not bad. That would quite, be quite happy with that. Then we've got cupboard space, shelving, good size sink. I like that good size mirror and then we've got the window which isn't frosted but there are blinds some cupboard space this is probably where is this going to be like a wardrobe let's have a look yeah 
so we've got our wardrobe here in the uh, 60 the Thetford toilet that's that's quite high because it's on that like the raised bit so that's quite a high toilet but um, you can step up and then we'll just look back into the motorhome and there we go okay so that's number one I know this is a little bit of a quick tour but I want to get the whole range in because if you're considering um, the Adamo you want to have a look at what what they've got so that one is the 60-4 right let's go on to the next one so this is the 69-4 so this is um, seven, 74 and a half thousand pounds again we've still got the same Ford cab across the whole range we've got various um, points service points on this side on the near side of the motorhome you see our cassette point we do have garages on these I don't know whether with one hand I'll be able to get into them hold on a second let's see mm, no hold on be nice to be able to show you one but I don't think I'm going to be able to get into that no I can't I might try later we've got our whale and let's just have a look at the back end so on the back end you can see the light cluster there that you're going to get you do get that reversing camera look we can see that up there pre-installation for the two-lay uh, bike rack and let's go in and have a look so as we venture into this model here we go into the 69 again this is nice now this is a four berth again we haven't got a fixed bed um, but we have got a good size lounge area that table again which does fold out we've got this cab area with the curtains for privacy and the drop down bed I'll just come back so we can see the drop down bed that again up there we've got control panel here on the near side and the television bracket again just come down there really good floor space yet again and this again nice kitchen we've got the worktop here the extension good good amount of worktop space plenty of cupboard space we've got the big Thetford again let's just open that again so big Thetford tower fridge freezer and then coming back we've got again we step up into the bathroom space you can see there is a privacy screen that pulls across we've got a sink in the corner and that mirrored area a window this is really open plan actually the toilet this here I'm guessing is going to be our wardrobe space this mirrored area oh wow look at that so I'll try and hold this open as well look at this absolutely massive amount of storage really good there close that up and then we have hold on and then we've got our shower in the rear offside corner of the motorhome that again is a very good size very good yeah nice and we have got a screen as well and we'll just look back down the motorhome so that's the 69 <laughs> Oh, oh god if you like a 69 you'll like that anyway <laughs> anyway on that inappropriate note um payload 410 kilos that's really nice right let's venture on so this is the adamo 74 75-4 and this i believe has got the island bed and the reason i think that is if when you look on the decals when you see this that's island the T is twin. Okay, so what we're getting here. So this one is seventy-five and a half thousand pounds. Payload three hundred and fifty-eight kilos. Again, we have got a garage, which I don't think I can open with one hand. I'm just. Um, I think it's probably just me that I don't. It's useless at opening things. Let's just see whether I can. No, that one's locked, so I can't do that one. Right, let's go in. So the 75, in we go. So we know we're going to get an island bed, but we'll see that as we go round. The cab, obviously these are all pretty much identical as we go around. We're not expecting anything massively different. You have got a shorter sofa space because this does incorporate a fixed bed. So you are going to have to compromise somewhere and that's where the compromise is. But big windows and good storage lockers. Let's have a look, see if I can get this one open. There we go. So we've got our aerial situated up there, but a good overhead locker. If you're filling lockers, just be mindful about payload. Go to a weighbridge and be careful. Because once you've filled your onboard water tanks, which these have, 
I think I think the onboard water tank is about 110 or 115 litres and the waste is 85 litres so it's a good size onboard water tank but just be careful right let's spin us round so we've got the kitchen again good size uh, and the flap we've got the same Thetford setup so I won't go through all of that you get the idea we've got the bracket there for the television and let's have a look at this layout so this is an island washroom oh, sorry a center washroom um <laughs> i've still confused myself about the 69 so yeah sorry about that so this is a, a central washroom we've got a separate shower now not bad the floor space is a little bit limited because you've got intrusion there from that wheel arch but in terms of actual physical space in the shower very good um i do like that we're going up as well as you can see we've got a couple of little steps going up and this is that island bed we'll come back to the toilet and washroom on our way around but we've seen the shower on the off side then we've got this bedroom now this looks like a pretty good size bed um i don't know the full ins and outs of sizes because it's literally a first look today but we've got wardrobe space on either side little lights you can see them there they've got usb chargers in them these bedroom windows are really good size. Um, let me see. Uh, oh, television point. Let's have a look in this washroom. So if we go into the washroom, uh, we have got, there's a blind there. That is actually, a, there is a window there. We've got our cupboard for storage. There we go, mirrored cupboard. There we go. Good size sink, swivel tap, storage underneath. Thetford toilet again on a little bit of a sort of um, a lip almost let me just close this there we go and have another look down into this um, lounge area there's no drop down bed in this model because you've got um, berths in the sofas here and then the bed the island bed at the back so there we go let me clamber out of this one so that was the 754i island bed. We're going to move on now to the 754t. So T is twin bed. So let's have a look at this one. So this is 75 and a half thousand pounds as well. We've got that silver Ford cab. You can see the white sides, the blue decals, and the um, payload on this is 344 kilos. So that's quite a small payload, really. So you must be careful. Again, if you are um filling your, your garage filling your cupboards just be mindful and then even consider if you have c1 on your license you can always consider up plating these motorhomes right let's venture in and have a look at this 75 4. so twin bed layout okay in we go oh this is nice this is quite nice you're going to like this well i hope you are again lounge area slightly shorter sofas the nice big table that cab area, the sunroof, they're really light and airy. And I don't know if it, because there's no drop down bed, you get a really high ceiling. I don't know. I don't know if my camera will do it justice, but whether you can see sort of me and the, the head height, there's absolutely loads of room in here. So if you're tall, you're going to be quite happy in here. Right, let's come round. So I've got our kitchen area, which is the same as the 74. We've got the Thetford Tower and we've got our control panel and television uh, installation there and then here we go so let's look at this the floor we go up and we've got the center mid washroom again same same shower um, and then we come into the bedroom now you can see there's a little slidey door back here which is actually open let's just I don't know if you can have a look in here so this is the garage that so far i failed to get us into um, but you can see here your garage space and then we've got these single beds now these are good size a good width good length i haven't got facts and figures they're on the website i'll put a link in the description below but these are nice and i like these the headboards are quite soft at the back there that you can see then we've got i'm guessing there's some hidey holes under here yep a little bit of storage under there uh, a little mirror the lights again and then on this wall you can if you can see that you can put um, your television there so let me just step down again 
So good amount of floor space for getting change there and nice sized beds. And then the washroom is just here and that's basically the same as the 74. So there we go. I won't hang around too much um, looking at those because we've we've seen one unless we've seen something different um, we don't we don't need to spend too long on it so there we go right let's carry on now last but not least we've got the 75 4 DL so let's go and have a look at this layout now this one hasn't got fixed beds it's got a dinette front and it's got a lounge rear the L is for lounge so let's spin around and have a look so here we go again pretty much the same on that outside got the various service points there on the near side and the off side so this one's 76,499 payload 340 kilos the garage on this one as you can see here is actually a taller longer one so if the garage is important to you this one layout might not be as suitable um, but you are gaining uh, more berths on this one right let's go in and have a look so we'll venture in okay so if if you're a family i i think this motorhome can actually take up to certainly six i'm not sure if this is this can't take eight don't quote me on that one have a look on the website but you're definitely going to get six people in here however as far as i know it does only have four travel seats it's only got four seat belts um, but again check all the details on the website because i don't want to give you information that's not correct i would never do that deliberately so check the website i'll put a link there so this is really a family motorhome family layout we've got that big sunroof again we've got the cab area which is nice smaller um dianette so this is the part of the d this is the dianette as we can see and we've got that table again, really good size. Now this has got the drop down bed again. I'll just raise us up here. So you can see the drop down bed. So because of that, we don't have any storage cupboards here that we, we saw on the twin. There we go. Let's turn around. Now this is a little bit different. As you'll see here on the off side of the motorhome, we've got this big Thetford tower fridge freezer with a little cupboard above it. And our kitchen's now on the near side. So this is different. We've got our control panel up here. Then we've got plenty of storage space. The bed there, the, uh, I don't know if you can see that, the operation for the bed, some light switches, good size kitchen space. Now we've got the flap here. Then we've got the kitchen space itself. Then there is a, there is a cupboard here. There is a, uh, storage cupboard there we've got the sink Thetford gas and electric oven and grill a little drawer storage let's have a quick look in one of these so overhead storage yeah good size let's have a look in the next one along a little bit more there as well so that's good and some plug sockets and ah right okay this is the eight berth. Took me a moment, but I got it eventually. Okay, so you'll see here another control for electric and electric bed. You've got your Truma uh, air blown heating and hot water. So this is the lounge area. Now this is nice. So we've had the, um, let me just go around here. So we've got uh, seating here as berths. We've got a drop down bed here as berths. And then we've got another drop down bed another two berths here and then we've got this huge lounge area which also converts to a bed now this you see this is why on this model you are losing payload because these things obviously weigh quite a bit so you you lose your payload so all these berths is, is the reason we're losing it now this lounge area is nice so quite a, a nice relaxed place to be we've got a little curtain here for privacy the windows with the remis blinds some storage here because as i say we don't that's um wardrobe space we don't have that huge garage on this model by the look of it we've got a back window we've got some little uh lights here let's have a look in here we've got more storage in there and the aerials coming in just up there in that top corner yeah and you can see the garage door there so there's probably going to be some storage when you open the garage under here that's where i'd imagine that's going to be let's just spin round and have a look now in the washroom because the washroom is obviously contained in this door here let's have a look 
Okay. Oh, right. Now, if there are eight of you, obviously you're going to be fighting over this. But we come in, we've got the shower, we've got the mirrored cupboard, the sink, little bit of storage there, the Thetford toilet. But as you can see, the shower does drain into the floor area. So where you've gained room in your sort of habitation area, you have lost it in the bathroom space. There is a shower curtain here to um, to stop water getting all over the sink and the toilet when you're showering. So your compromise on this model is literally in that washroom. Okay, so one more last look around. So on this model, the DL, you're getting the lounge area, which is, is really nice, to be honest. Good size kitchen. Again, it's really open plan. I like this. So there we go. Let's dive out. So that is uh, a quick look at the five Adamo layouts. As I say, they, uh, they range obviously in size, in berths, in price. And just be careful with those payloads because um, the bigger you get, the smaller your payload. But they're on the Ford. Um, you know, they've got the automatic gearbox. You've got onboard fresh water, you've got your waste water. As far as I know, you get a solar panel on these, 100 watts. But again, check in the description below. So that was my first look at the Adamo range. On the face of it, these are quite nice, comfortable motorhomes. Uh, pretty much something for everybody. So hopefully you've enjoyed having a look. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.